So when you open XD, the first thing that you're going to encounter is a setup like this. If you have already created other styles or other websites already, you're going to see your recent over here. If you haven't created anything at all, you don't have to worry. These things are from my recent designs. So what I'm going to do now is to start with an ad board. My ad board is going to be 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to choose the very first one, which has already been pre-made. Right. So now we have created a very first ad board. So what I'm going to do is just give this ad board a name. So the name for this ad board is going to be one page website. So that is, will be the name for the ad board. Then I'm going to save this document by clicking on this and the name at one pager. All right. So if you want to save it in a different spot, you can, but I am saving my in Adobe cloud. So that is where mine is going to set so that I can access it from so many other places. So we have done that. We have created a new file and then we have also created an ad board that is 1920 by 1080. So that is the first step. The next step and the design process is to make sure we have a basis that we can go to. What are these bases? We want color. We want typography. We want the font. And then if we have any other components, we will also use that component. A component can be probably a picture that we want to keep using. Um, if let's say we also want to use a button, we can also create a button and make that button a component which we're going to see in the design process. So the first thing that I'm going to do now is to lay out my typography and font. Okay. So the type that I'm going to use is called, um, let me find the name. I think it's called space group text. So this is a Google font that I'm using. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to lay down some few um, sizes for this font. I'm going to have um, a 20, I'm going to have a, a 16 an 18, 24, 32, um, 54 and 72. So those are just spaces. Probably um, when I am designing, I might want to tweak some sizes and some colors. But for the beginning, I just want to lay down something that I can keep using, which are these ones. So first, let's put in a text like new website. All right, so this one is 20. I want to change this to 16. The next thing is to duplicate this so that I can make it into the other sizes. Then after that, I'll show you what we're going to do afterwards. So let's duplicate this into um, different sizes. We're just going to right click. We can copy and paste or we can hold. Um, if you are on Mac, you can hold the, the option key, click on it and then drag it down. Option key, click on it and drag it down. Option key, click on it and drag it down. Option key, click on it and drag it down. So this is 16, this is 18, this is 24, this is 32, this is 54. The last one will be 72. So let's go in and then change this one to 16 already. So this should be. So as you can see, I have sized, I have created six, one, two, three, four, five. So six different sizes for our font. So copy, select all of them, right click, and then add character style to assets. So when you click on this, now, as you can see on the left hand side, it has taken the sizes that we gave and made them into assets, styles. So let's say I have um, a font. Um, today is my day. All right, so as you can see on your right hand side, the font size is 72. We're going to use the style that we created, which is the one on the left hand side. We're going to click on one and then you're going to see what is going to happen. So when I click on 
this 16, the size becomes 16. When I click on 18, it becomes 18. 24 becomes 24. 32, 52, 72. So what this does is that when we are creating our website, we'll be able to go back into this and just keep picking the numbers that we want without having to go through this process of having to change the numbers over and over again. So this style gives us the opportunity to just have things organized nicely. The next thing that we're going to do is lay out our colors. I already have colors in mind that I want to use. So I'm going to, so I'm just going to go back. Okay. So here I want to give these colors. Um, I have the colors already sampled elsewhere. So I'm just going to copy them and bring them in. So my first color will be this hot pink. Next one. I think that that should be that for a different color and the rest can be black Then we can have a white and then we can have that little gray over there too. So now I've selected these four colors. I'm just going to right click on it and then I'm going to say add color to assets. So I'm just going to click on that. So as you can see, the four colors that are represented in, um, on this font have now been chosen on the left hand side. So anytime I click on a text, I can change the color by just clicking over here without having to go back in here to just go and type it in. Another way that you can also do it is by making sure that when you click on this color, you click over here, you can just add the color from here. This also makes it simple for you to go to the colors and find it. So you can click on that, go in here, and add that. Click on this, go in here and just add that. You can also choose a white and add. So now we have our color sample down here and then we have them also on the asset panel. So that, that should be that for our styling. Um, our next move is to start designing the website. Uh, one more color that I think I forgot is the background color. So just have to sample the background color. Click over here, choose it, uh, and then make sure that I add it to our color assets and also add it down here to make it simple to find. So we are done with our, um, our um, we are done with our typography and we're also done with our colors. Let's head into the design process. So I already have my um, I already have my layout already in my mind, what I'm trying to do. So as, um, and I've already had a little scribble of more like, um, I have a wireframe in mind and I've also scribbled that down. So I'll be using that wireframe that I have in front of me to design the site as we go on. So as I'm designing, I'll be telling you why I'm making some of the decisions that I am making. So, um, let's head into creating, um, our hero section first. And after that, we're just going to go down from there. So let's make our hero section. First, um, as I said, our design is 1920 by 1080 for now. The um, the height will be a bit longer than that, but that will be um, the first thing that we're doing. So let's go and then find a rectangle. Sorry, S, yeah, that's a rectangle. Okay, so this rectangle is gonna cover from, um, it's gonna be the background for the, the header. So I'm gonna make this 18, uh, probably 1899. All right. So 1899, just going to make sure that it's seated in the middle. Okay. That should be, that should be good. And then I want to give it a stroke of 10. All right. The background can be white. And then I'm going to make, give it a radius. So you see over here, if I want to give just a radius to the top, I can uh, to the left, uh, to the left, to the left corner, I can do this. Yeah, but we want to make sure that the radius is applied to all of it. So let's make this 25. All right. So radius 25, 
border size of 10. All right, so that is that. I'm gonna give the, the, main, um, the, the main background for the design. Just click over here and then find this. So this should be the background. So the border on this should be black. All right, so that's good. So we have created the background for our menu. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is to create our logo. So let's drag this out. So if you want to, um, the logo, you can use also the shortcut of Y to pick um, the rectangle. But I'm just going to click on that. So click and then you hold and you drag to create the rectangle. So the logo is going to be something like this. This should be um, 50. Probably this shouldn't be that big. And then bring this one to like a 15. I just want to see. Let's make this around like 75. Let me make this a one. All right, so we're going to bring this in a bit. Change the size of this to a 15. That should be good. And then this make this squeeze a little more. Make this around like 74. All right, 74 and 60. Um, let's try 69. All right, that should be good. And now we're just gonna change the border to black. All right, so this will be our logo. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is to have our menu items. So our menu is gonna be, I'm gonna have an about page. So about, let's style this so that we can just duplicate it. We want this to be 24. And we want the color to be black. And then we want it to be all caps. Okay, so that is that for this. So we're just gonna duplicate it by holding option and then just click and drag to where you want it. So this will be about, the next one will be portfolio. After portfolio, we're gonna have another called classes. And then the last one is gonna be contact. All right, so all of this, we're gonna just group together like that. Um, so after grouping this, we want the, the space in between to be the same. So after grouping that, you're gonna see there's something here called stack. If you don't group it, you don't see the stack. So let me ungroup that. Okay, the stack goes away. But by grouping it, you enable the stack for you to create either pardon or spacing in between. So right now we want the space to be in between. So for the space to be in between, we we'll click on the stack, we want the space to be 20. So now everything in between has a spacing of 20. The next thing that we can do is to give it a pattern, but right now we don't really need a pattern, but if we wanted to add a pattern all around, we can also come over here and then just add a pattern of 20. So that we have like 20 top, 20 right, 20 left, and 20 bottom, but we don't want that. So we're just gonna close this and leave it at zero. The next thing I'm gonna do is to create um, a plus sign. So if I wanna create a plus sign, I'm gonna use the line two. So the line two is L. I'm just gonna drag this down to like, like so, make this 40, and then change this to a 10. Change the color to black. And then after that, I'm going to duplicate this. And after duplicating, I'm going to rotate it on a 90. Make sure that this is still at 40. And then click both of them. Let's see whether we can. All right, so we've created a little plus sign. So after that, we're just going to group it. All right, cool. So we're going to add it over here. Okay, so. I will need this for more like if someone wants to um, view our social media um, 
I can add this and it can be a pop-up for them to also click on it for them to see uh, social media handles and other stuff like that. Okay. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is to group these items inside. Let's group, make sure that everything is centered in the middle like that. Okay, it looks like we have a mistake over here. Let me drag this out. All right. Okay, so between this and this, and then that. But the next thing, I want to take this all the way to the side. And then also this other way to here. So there's a little space between here that is causing an issue. So what I'm going to do is to hold the shift. When you hold shift and you click forward, what happens is that it creates um, a 10 space interval. So by holding shift and clicking forward, five times we're going to have like a pattern of 50 on the left hand side so one two three four five so a pattern of 50 on the left hand side we're going to click on this two and then click back so hold shift one two three four five all right the reason why um i could have just had more like um group this one after grouping them just like how we did for the menu we group this and then we come over here and then we change to 50. All right, as you can see, then we also change this one to a 50. But I wasn't, um, I didn't do that because there's some little space over here that is going to cause an issue. But this is how it's going to look if we just group them and then we created the, the spacing um, using um, this pattern feature over here. So we finished creating our menu. The next thing that we're going to do is to group this nicely. So let's group that. All right. Now we're going to go back and name these things so that they will be nicely done. So we're going to call this um, header and then click here to open it. Select this. Then we can call this one um navig navigation call this one the menu call this one background all right i'm just going to open this all right so this i can call this socials and then over here i can call this one logo so you name your items and your elements so that it will be easier for you to go back and make changes as you want. If you do not name your items or your element, it's going to be hard because after you finish creating your whole website, it's going to be hard for you to just go through it to know what it is or what is that. So it is really important that when you are designing, you take a little time to go in and rename all your elements as much and as clear as possible. All right, so we are done with um, the header. The next thing that we're going to do is to start creating the hero section. So as I said, I already have this wireframe down. So I'm going to look at that to make sure that I build the design that I want. Okay, so for this, let's take this up, right? Just give it one notch down for the tank spacing at the top. All right, so uh, that's how the design is going to look. So um, first, let's have a circle. So this is going to be a circle like that. All right, so I'm going to give it no background. Make this a black. Go in here and then give this a 10. All right, so this is... And then I'm going to put a star in here make sure that this has six I need a star not a right all 
we can give this like um let's say 50 right probably let's make this 35 right 35 should be good we can give it like a little rounded edge over there like that that should be well put this in here go in and change this one to that probably give this a five all right so this is going to be a really nice we can animate this um when it comes to the design all right so that's going to be that the next thing i'm going to add is a line put a line in here that should be at least 18 you need to make sure that it is centered like that all right nice then we're going to give the size of 10 change the color to black and then we're going to put this right on top of it should just sitting on top of that so so this should be good after that i'm just gonna so what this is going to act like is this is going to roll like when you load the website this is going to roll all the way to the left and as the the circle is rolling to the left the um the stars inside is going to rotate to the right so this is rotating to the left and this is rotating to the right but it will keep moving to the left and then it will just end and then rotate back again and then rotate again probably one or two times and then it will stop so that is the vision with this all right so we have created that the next thing that we're going to add is uh hero text all right so i'm just going to put since this is just test website you can put your own text over here but i'm going to put the name of the channel which is ob studios and then i'm going to make this really big to cover the entire width all right so i'm just going to highlight it go over here and just keep increasing it until it gets to the very So let's make sure that this is in the center. Okay, I'm just gonna bring it down a little like that. Give you some space over there. Okay, the next thing is to duplicate this. And then change the word over here to photos. And then make sure that this is in caps. All right. So this will be um, our two texts. We're going to have OB Studios photo. All right, we're going to leave it as photos. It's not the best way, but that's what we're going to do for now. The next thing that I want to do is to have a subtext. So let's change this, go back. When you click over here, you'll be able to go back to your style sheet. I'm gonna give this um, a 32. And then make sure that the color is black and the font is uppercased. All right, so right now I don't have any text that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use a plugin or we can just, yeah, I'm gonna use a plugin over here. So when you click on this, you're able to access plugins either um you can download new ones by clicking on the plus sign then you can come in here and then download any plugin that you want so i have a um, bunch of plugins over here so i'm going to click on this and then use this content generator to generate a paragraph all right so a paragraph has been generated for me the next thing that i want to do i want to squish everything into a smaller container so I'm gonna click on this and then just squish this like that. Drag it here, squish it, drag it here, 
squish it down and drag and then squish it down and just keep dragging it back and just squish it down but as you can see there's a lot of text we don't really need that much so i'm going to delete some away all right this should be good anything between like um let's say like a three yeah anything like this seven anything like between seven 760 for the width of the text is pretty much good all right so this is um this two is our hero text and then there's our subtext that i'm describing what this is all about then the next thing that i'm going to do is to add an image so let me click in the container um and then just draw out how i want the image how big I want the image to be. So, and then I want the image to come over here and then tilt it a little, not too much. It should be like around like four, like that. Let's send this back for it to be behind. All right, so right now we're going to navigate and find a picture and then afterwards, we're going to add a picture to this. So I'm going to use this image beautiful so I'm gonna remove the border I don't really need a border so but this is a really nice picture that I shot with um, with a dear friend for a little campaign that we did uh, one thing I forgot is to make sure that these fonts are in bold so I'm just gonna reduce their sizes a bit more all right that should be good I'll make sure that this is in the middle. Uh, let me reduce the size of this a bit more. Okay, this should be good. And then just bring it in like that. Move it up. And also move this a bit up like that. All right, so this should be, this should be fine. Okay, this and this should align nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little more of um, some designs. I'm gonna add this in the background. All right, this should be fully black. Uh, make sure that it is sent back. And I'm just going to duplicate it into three. Okay, after that, I've selected all three of them. I want it to be aligned nicely by clicking on this distribution sign so everything the spaces uh, between them is even all right so that should be good the next thing is to take this and just duplicate it see this is really worrying me what i'm going to do is lock it yo all right so I'm going to go back into the layers. So this has been, this has to be selected and I'm just going to duplicate it. And probably let me hide this because it's giving me unnecessary. Delete one of it. All right, good. So let's go back and show this. All right. So um this should be good the next thing i'm going to do is to create my call to action button so go back over here and cl click on the rectangle then draw a really nice rectangle like that nothing too fancy make sure that there is no border then the color is this hot pink all right the next thing i'm going to do is to give this make sure it's aligned to the center like that okay let's give it a little oh, no we're not going to give it any and this should be good without the, the radius. Um, so for the background, we need a drop shadow. So make sure that you click on the drop shadow, click on the image, make sure it is 100% black. All right, we don't want any blur. So this B stands for blur. So I'm gonna remove the blur. And then afterwards, I want this to be four, probably a five should be good. And then I want this to also be five nicely like that okay so the next thing is to have our text 
So I, what I want people to do is probably start a project with me because I do photography. So I want people to start a project. Okay, let's make this small by going to our assets. We want this to be around like 32. That's nice. Let's change the color to black. All right. So select this and then hold shift and then click on the rectangle and then make sure that both of them are centered nicely. I'm going to change this to a white and then make sure it is capitalized. And then we just select both of them. Make sure that it is centered again nicely like that. So this should be fine for our hero section. So now we're done with our hero section. The next then um, is to create the next section in, in the design process. If you are enjoying what we are doing, you can give it a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let's go into designing the next part of the design. All right. I want to, I have uh, my little assets here that I want to use. So I'm just going to copy that asset from Photoshop and then just paste it in here. All right. So this should be good. Okay. So this is going to add more like um, a guide for the eye. So someone can look at it and it's just going to guide them to where to what I want them to see. All right, so I'm gonna create a box. Before I even create a box, what I want to do is to give, to write the name of each section, write it like on top of it, and then give it probably um, a logo. So here will be a word called welcome. So that should be good. That's 32, probably want this to be around like, um, 18 and I also want it to be fully black. I think um, what I should do is to make sure that these are already in black. You can just uh, right click on it and then edit, change the color to black. Uh, it's a normal black, so that, that should be good. The most efficient way of doing things. So this is the um, the section name, and then I'm gonna go back to my plugins and then look for icons. Um, okay, that's okay, over here. I'm just gonna write in love. Okay, no love. Let's say heart. All right, there's no love, but it's heart. So. So anytime you click on that, it takes it all the way to the top, which I really hate, but that is what we're going to do. So this is 18. So I want to make sure that this heart is also not that big. First, I'm going to lock the aspect so that when I change one, it affects both the, um, the other side. So when I change the height, I want the width to also reflect the changes. But if I don't lock this and I open it and I give this, an 18, which should be the height, is gonna um, look really bad. So locking that gives you, all right, so everything is proportioned now. Click both of them and then just align them nicely like that. Then I want the space in between to be evening, so I'm gonna group it and then click on stack. I wanna give this 20, all right. So that should be good. So this is the name of this section. The next thing that I'm going to do, let's bring this down a little. Next thing I'm going to do is to start creating the section itself. All right, so on my, on my design, I have a box like that. And then the box, um, let me give it a radius of like 25. Okay, cool. I'm going to remove the border, but I'm going to give it, um, Let's take this and then copy and then let me paste the appearance and see what happens. All right. So we have the, the design here. The only thing that we're going to do now is click on this and then change the color to black, change this color also to white. 
and then I'm gonna give this back the radius of 25 nicely like that so and here is gonna be more like um, a welcome speech trying to um, bring you into um, the family trying to let you um, someone know who you are and what you do does uh, this stuff like that all right so I'm just gonna go in here and then just copy this make sure that the color is white all right so you're gonna bring this forward all right, so this should be here let's make this a bit smaller okay and the next thing I'm gonna do is to have an image rectangle like that and then have an image move that give this probably a 10 so an image is going to sit in here um change the um the size go back to um, our star guide change this one to probably an 18 and color to white probably an 18 is too small but color to white all right, that should be good. And then I'm just gonna highlight this, go back to our plugin, and I get some more content. Or we can leave this over here like this, bring this down, duplicate this, and then say, hello. All right, so this hello should be a bit bigger than what we have. So go back to our star guide and change this on to 72. Change the color to white. Make it into uh, something big as that. That should be fine. Okay, so over here, the next thing that I want to do is to have a little button here that says "Let's chat." All right. So the chat, the size should be probably be eighteen. This white. No, probably 18 is too small 24 and then the white all right um what i'm going to do next is to add a little logo not logo per se but add a little icon to the side so i'm going to go back to my plugins the icon is already selected uh cut this a chat and then over here we have like bunch of chat symbols we can choose this So I can just copy it, change the color, the fill color to white. And then I'm going to lock it like that. So this is 24. So I want the height of this to also be 24. All right, cool. So zoom in, bring it down, select both of them. Make sure that they align properly. Group them so we can give it a stacking of 20. So this looks like it's a perfect one. All right, so I want all of this to have an equal height. There, there, there is an issue here. Do you see the, the spacing at the bottom? We can try and fix it by using this, closing this a little more like that. So I want um, the spacing in between all of this to be the same. So I'm gonna group it, right click, and then group. And then I'm gonna click on the stacking, right? And I want this to be probably 22. So everything is nicely done like that so you want your um when it comes to design consistency is really important um the difference between a good designer and someone who is starting out in design is how consistent is your typography and your font your colors and also how things are laid out if things are laid out nicely because you can have a website that is done so poorly because of layout, colors, and typography. But when your type and your font and your colors, everything is syncing nicely, someone can look at your website and say that, oh, great, there's something that I want to spend time looking at. So that's really important. Um, what I'm going to do is to change the color of this to make sure that it stands out. Okay, so this should be good. Now I'm gonna find an image to add to this. So I'm gonna use this one. All right, so that's a really nice image. Okay, that's good. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to just group everything in here. 
Um, yeah, we can have something like that. All right, cool. Let's move this a little up. Okay, this should work like that. So this is nicely made. So this is more like a welcome thing like that. The next thing that we're going to do is um, I'm offering quote unquote some classes. So I want people to take the class. So that is what I'm going to put next. So how that is going to go is I'm going to copy this and then bring it down like that. I'm going to change this one to photography classes. All right. So next let's ungroup this and then remove this icon. And then over here, I want to have something like talk. So if talk doesn't work, then I want to have something like um, speak. Hmm. What about teach? Oh, okay. So this should definitely work. All right. So this uh, is 18 pixels. So I want to click on that and make sure that I log this and give this 18 like that. I don't even know where that thing went. Oh no. All right, squish it down like this. Put it over here and give this an 18 because whatever that, that was, that wasn't it. Okay, click both of them and give them like this. And then let's group it and then give it a stacking of 20. Nicely like that. All right, so looks like someone is teaching a class. So that's nice. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is to try and then create um, the design for this. So let's go back here and then copy that. All right, even before I even continue, I just want to give this a little naming add some name into it so that it makes it easier to go back to because if I wait until I get to the very end, it's going to be really bad for me. So I'm going to call this creative. So that's the hero section. This one is the next one that we're going to work on. So over here, let me just drag this down like that. What I want to create. So going back here, text. I'm going to call this um, creative. Like so. Um, I want the text to be around two, one, nine, like that. Um, I want this to be bold and I want the color to be black. All right. So this might be a bit bigger than what is on the right hand side because I have um, an item that I want to use back here, giving them more like this nice, little design over here. Okay, so let's let's put this targeted to come in the middle like so. That's good. And then let's duplicate this and then call this one creative class PT1. Nicely like that. Okay, that's, that looks good. The next thing that I want to do is a shape that I have So the shape, we can create ourselves. Let's see. But if not, I might have to just bring it in from Photoshop. All right. Okay, 
So it's gonna take a bit of time to do that. So I'm just gonna import that shape and just drop it in like this. You can copy stuff from Photoshop and that that is the uh, the nice thing with this because you can literally just copy stuff from Photoshop that you've made right into the design and it's really going to work. Like how I'm doing right now, I'm just copying stuff from Photoshop right into the design without having to worry at all. I'm just closing some of the gap underneath it because sometimes they just bother me for some reason. Okay, you see that photo thing at the top? Just want to move it to the left a bit of it. All right, cool. So that, that looks good. All right, the next thing that I'm going to do is to add some text explaining what a class is about down here. So I'm going to make this probably into a 24. So let's go to our style guide and then change this to 24, right? And then let's go in to our plugin section. We're going to generate content. We need a paragraph and just fill the paragraph like that. All right, cool. So we have the paragraph like so. It looks really good. Um, now we need a button. So what I'm going to do is to go in here, right? I'm going to make right click on this button and make it a component. So what happens when you create a component? So I'm going to go back to our style sheet. Sorry, our style sheet should be here. So as you can see, now we have a component called hero button. So what happens is that when you create a company, it is more like creating, um, let's say a color that you can keep repeating. So now we'll be able to just keep repeating, um, this, uh, this background. We can just ungroup it. Sorry, not ungroup it, but on um, bound it or not that. Right. It is copying it from the switch we don't want. All right. So the best thing is probably remove the component because what uh, what we should have done before we grouped this whole project, uh, we grouped the um uh, the hero is to make the component first. But right now we already grouped it, so it's making it a bit harder for it to be done. But I'm just gonna copy the appearance, create a box. just create a box like that and then just paste the appearance on it all right like so that is good so we're going to recreate the button again make this into a five and then this also into a five look for black all right just make sure everything is the same um, height is 96 407 by 96 so 407 by 97 all right so that should be good just make sure that this is centered nicely and then we can just drag this up and say join our course change the size to 24 Yeah, 32 should be good and then just change the color to white make sure that this is centered nicely all right let's group this so group it okay so they're centered nicely like that okay so now we've created more like two or three sections over here the next thing that we're going to do is to show a portfolio of what we can do when it comes to like photography. All right, so what I'm going to do is to have this name again, just drag it down, change this one to, let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so, support portfolio. I'm 
like that. Um, we're just going to um, click on it and then ungroup it because we want to change the, the icon. Go back to our plugins and then click on this icon and then look for photo. All right, I'm going to use something that looks more like a gallery. So something like this should work. Let's make it big so we can just drag it down. All right, so hold shift and just make it small like so. And then just lock this and give this an 18. Okay, select both of them. Make sure that everything is nicely laid down like that. And then let's group it so we can give it a good stack space of 20. Now let's bring in our portfolio design. So I already laid it out in Photoshop. So I'm just going to copy and paste it, but I can show you how the design can be made also over here. But as I said, it's all about trying to make sure that you have a basis before you even get into designing um, your website on either uh, WordPress, um, Webflow, Wix, um, Squarespace, Shopify, whatever place that you want to do, you want to have something to stand on. You, you do not just want to go in and start freestyling. You, you have no idea where you you're going but having a design already in place it gives you something to stand on and you can make changes as you're designing that is also acceptable so right now i'm going to copy that um what i did and then i'm going to bring it in yes paste it in here like that all right so there's more like um a gallery of work that i want to show All right, cool. So I'm just make sure that every time you have it's really at the edge of it. Then I can have a button. So now we can have this button and then just change what is over here too. Okay, start. A project make sure that this is capitalized like that we can click on both of them and just make sure that it's centered nicely okay so this um, this should be that should be the final phase of the design until I get to where I have I want to put more like um, a form over here because it's a one pager I want people to be able to um just fill the form right here without going to a different page so first i'm going to have like a heading let's just put in a gibberish and then keep it so i'll click on that and go to our plugin and then in the plugin so okay plugin is over here let's go back and then go to content generate we need um paragraph all right, the paragraph went all the way to the top. You don't really need anything this long. Let's zoom. Let's zoom in a little. All right, so I'm just gonna delete everything from edge like that. Come in over here. I want this to be anywhere around. So we go back to our style, and I want this to be around like 50 something. But I don't want to be too long like that. I want it to be capitalized like this delete that a subtext i want this to be broken into two and then change this one to more like a 32. All right so that should make sure that things are centered nicely all right, so the, there's another plugin that you can use to create forms. So I'm just going to use, um, let's create a form. I think that should be um, 
probably something that we should be able to do in, in this design. So create a form like that. Um, give a no, so no fill in the middle. We want this to have a black border, like a five. And then with this, we're going to give it a radius of 15. Probably this is too big. Probably give it like a two. And then close this like this. It doesn't have to be like extremely huge. Okay, good. So we're going to have one for name and then one for email, one for message. And then I'm just going to copy this and then make this into a sub, a submit button. Okay. Want this to be centered like that and like this. And then give this one a little pattern of five, like so. Okay, so in here, I'm just gonna copy this and then paste it over here and let's give this one full length. But I wanna change the size to probably 24 or 18. Okay, 18 should be good. Next one should be email. And then the last, but not the least, should be message all right so i want the message box to be a bit bigger than the other ones because people are going to type in their message and then make sure that the text inside is in the middle all right so that should be good and then just bring this in um so this and this should be grouped this should also be grouped and then this also should be grouped and then i'm, go I'm just going to select everything and then group it. And then I want the space in between to be 20 like that. And the space away from this, so this is grouped. I can also group this. Since there's a button, I want the space between that and the button to be anywhere around like 35, like a bit far away from it. So this should be looking like the end of the design. I'm gonna have a footer. So the footer can be set 20, 22. Then you can just have one like this and say OB studios.com. All right, make this center like that. And then let's have some social icons. Let's look for icons like that. Let's look for, mm, Instagram. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do that. You can follow me on Instagram. Look for OB Studios on Instagram. Let's follow each other. Uh, I'll be posting a bit more on Instagram very soon. So follow me on Instagram. Next then is Facebook. I also have a Facebook page. So if you're looking to join me on Facebook, yeah, we can connect. Let's connect on Facebook. Look for OB Studios on Facebook. Look for OB Studios on Facebook. And the last thing, but not the least, is YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can definitely do that now. It's free. And from all this design that we're doing, you can see that it is worth it. Let's do this. 18. Make everything come in the middle. Then let's group this. And then the stack should be 20. Probably the height. Let's do this like a 24. I want to keep everything here like a 24. Okay, that's good. Let's drag this thing down. All right, we can put it even on the, on the right hand side and then everything looks good. Um, probably underneath it is good. Things sent to that. 
just gonna group that. What I'm going to add one more is a tiny little thing like that. Give it a size of two and then make it fully black. I'll probably can make it even smaller and then just center it like that and bring it close to this. Probably we don't need that. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the the part in between this and that, we can group that and then we can give it like a real pattern of, so you can see the pattern is 90. Twin, let me group this. So the pattern between these two should be 20. And then the pattern between this So between that can be a 50. All right, so that should be good. So this should, we can call this, um, go back to trying to name, uh, so we can give this footer. Footer like that. Over here, we can group everything in here. And let's group everything here as one group, right? That's good. And then let's group this two too. And we can give it, so between this, so just be 50. All right, so between, probably 50 is too much. Let's do a 30 like that. And between this main design and that, we want to group it. So this should be a 50. All right, cool. So between this and then that, we can group that. I say the stack should be 90. All right, so between every two sections should be 90. Over here, that, that is, there's an issue you see that the space at the top, you can't remove it. So it causes a bit of issue. So I'm not going to really touch. I'm not going to try doing anything with that. But um, it is an issue that I haven't been able to find a solution yet. But between this and this, we want to have... Uh, let me remove that. Let's just have this three and just group it. And then we want the stack to have 20 pixels in between all of it. And then this and then that should also be grouped so we can give it a good spacing of 50 like that. So between this and this, we should have a group too where we can give it spacing of 90. So if everything is like grouped nicely, you can click on that, click on this. Then we can group that. Then we can say that the stack should be 90. So now between all the sections, apart from the very top one, which we have this connector, but between all these sections, we have a consistent spacing in between them. For a section between like two sections, the spacing is 90 pixels. So we can just keep going like that. Every spacing is 90 pixels to make sure that everything is designed nicely and neatly without people having to um, really think about what is really going on. That when everything flows nicely, like people's brain will pick up on those. They'll be able, like the brain is going to know that Oh yeah, this is flowing nicely. Let's keep going down. That is how you build a consistent design. So right now we've come to the very end of using Adobe XD to design your website before even going into a design tool like um, WordPress, Elementor, Webflow, Wisk, 
um, all the all those other stuff that are out there. Before even going there, you you set yourself up for success. Without you doing this, you'll be going into the design not knowing where to push stuff because. When it comes, when we're going to do this design, we're just going to translate everything here into the design. And it's going to be really seamless. We wouldn't be guessing the numbers because we already have numbers that represent the real design. Remember, these numbers are not just random numbers. The numbers that we're using here are the same numbers that we'll be using when it comes to the real development of the website. Um, I hope you learned something. Um, if you like, this video, please subscribe, like, and then share the video with your friends. Share it on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter. Share it all around. Let people know what we're doing on this channel. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe too. By subscribing, it will tell YouTube that people are enjoying the content and it's going to show it to other people organically. My name is Nyakon. Thank you for um, coming on this channel and thank you for watching. See you next time. Stay tuned for the development of the website.